वेलकम हेयर आर दी थर्टी फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्क क्वेश्चन अबाउट टैबलेट कॉम्प्रेशन प्रोसेस इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव कंटेंट दिस इज सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज यू विल गेट द लिंक ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड वीडियो दैट इज ग्रेनुलेशन प्रोसेस एंड टैबलेट कोटिंग प्रोसेस इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स वी विल स्टार्ट दिस सीरीज विथ वेरी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वॉट आर द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ टैबलेट कॉम्प्रेशन मशीन important parts of tablet compression machine are hopper feeder turret different type of cams that is fill cam weight cam and ejection cam and punches and dies other important parts are tablet scraper scraper blade tailor die and ejection chute this one is very frequently asked question what is principle of compression machine in tablet compression machine basic principle is compressing granules or powders in a die by lower punch and upper punch by applying hydraulic pressure you can refer below schematic for better understanding how many types of feeder available for compression machine there are mainly two types of feeder gravity feeder and force feeder gravity feeder are now no longer in use for the advanced compression machines you can refer below photographs of force feeder what is double rotary compression machine double rotary means the machine has both side discharge chutes and compress the tablets on both sides the double rotary machine has one discharge chute on rhs that is right hand side and another on lhs that is left hand side what is moc of punches and dies punches are mainly made up of ohnx that is oil hardened non shrinking steel that is tungsten and dies are made up of hcsc that is high carbon high chromium steel recommended life for punches and dies is as below for ohnx punches and hcsc dies 4 million tablets for hcsc punches and hcsc dies 7.5 million tablets and complete hard comb plating punches and dies life will be 8.5 million tablets This one is very frequently asked question how many types of tooling commonly used in compression machine based on the TSM and EU standards below are the types of tooling these are B tooling D tooling BB tooling and DB tooling for all the toolings punch length is same that is 133.60 however other parameters like punch diameter di- diameter and max size changes with the tooling you can refer below table for understanding the all toolings what is dwell time in tablet compression process the amount of time it takes for the punches to stop moving vertically and penetrate the die to their maximum under the major compression rollers is known as dwell time in compression when the compression rollers achieve flat contact with the punch head dwell time begins we can calculate the tablet press dwell time by dividing the punch head flat dimension by the turret tangential velocity what is use of pre compression force in tablet compression process the purpose of pre compression force is to get eliminate any air that might be present in powder or die basically during the pre compression rollers apply a small amount of force on the upper and lower punches what are the different stages in tablet compression the tablet compression process can be majorly divided into the four stages stage 1 filling the formulation is overfilled at the compression station second metering overfilling is removed and third compression tablets formation by pressure exerted by punches within the die and fourth is ejection where the tablets are ejected from the dies what are the important in process checks that are done during tablet compression process here nine important in process checks that are done during tablet compression process are mentioned first physical appearance second description of tablets third average weight fourth individual weight variation fifth hardness sixth thickness seventh diameter eighth fiability test and ninth disintegration test that is gt which units are used for tablet hardness measurement and what its relation with the thickness the unit of hardness is kilogram newton pound and strong cop tablet hardness is inversely proportional to the tablet thickness as tablet thickness decreases tablet hardness goes on increasing what is fiability test and what is formula for fiability test 
for performing fibrity test tablets with weight as near as 650 g are taken or for higher weight tablet at least 10 whole tablets are considered for fibrity testing these tablets are then kept into the drum of fibrity tester and rpm of fibrity tester is kept at 25 plus or minus 1 rpm after completion of the rotations percent fibrility is calculated with the formula w1 minus w2 divided by w1 whereas w1 is weight of tablets before fibrity test and w2 is weight of tablets after fibrity test here it is important to note that tablets must be tea dusted before and after fibrity test acceptance criteria for fibrity test is a maximum mean weight loss from the three samples shall not be more than 1% is considered acceptable what are the tablet defects commonly observed during tablet compression process the following defects may be seen in tablets during compression process these are mottling lamination picking double impression sticking capping or weight variation what are the weight variation limits for tablets you can refer below table for weight variation limits as per ip bp and usp what is procedure for load cell calibration of compression machine for load cell calibration dummy punches and dies are installed at a particular position in a compression machine and external encoder is attached to the machine encoder after applying pressure pressure on the plc of machine and the external encoder should be matched this one is most frequently asked question why double rotary compression machine always come in odd number of stations while answering this question two words shall be come compulsorily in your answer first dynamic balance and second turret balancing these double rotary compression machine always come in odd number of stations to maintain dynamic balance in odd number of station double rotary compression machine only one punch is under compression roller at one time turret balancing is achieved when odd number of stations are in double rotary machine this question is about disintegration test question is what is disintegration time which usp chapter is referred for disintegration test and what are the test parameters disintegration time is the time required for the tablets to break down into small pieces usp chapter number 701 is referred for disintegration test and below are the important test parameters beakers that we use for the disintegration test are of 1000 ml each frequency of shaft raising and lowering basket is 29 to 32 strokes per minute distance of shaft raising and lowering basket is 53 to 57 mm stainless steel wire cloth is of 1.8 to 2.2 mm and wire diameter is 0.57 to 0.66 mm This is one more question about the disintegration test what is L1 and L2 stage in disintegration test for L1 stage 6 and for L2 stage 12 tablets are used for disintegration test disintegration shall be performed in two stages that is L1 and L2 if L1 fails then L2 needs to be performed for L1 stage all 6 units shall be disintegrated and in L2 stage that is 12 units analyzed out of 18 that is l1 plus l2 16 units shall be disintegrated this one is very basic question about the disintegration test why disc is used in disintegration test answer is to avoid floating of tablets disc is used during disintegration testing what is disintegration test and dissolution test first we will see disintegration test it is a time required for tablets or capsule to disintegrate into fragments in a given set of condition whereas for the dissolution test it is a time required for the tablets or capsules to dissolve into the dissolution medium in a given set of conditions this one is again very frequently asked question explain about awc for compression machine here very simple answer for the awc explanation is given full form of awc is automatic weight control it is computer operated function which is central processing unit to adjust and control weight of tablet during compression process awc works on the compression force basis what we should check during punch set or tablet tooling inspection program here nine important checks are given first 
height uniformity of the punches second punch body to punch tip concentricity third die bore go no go status fourth other dimensions as per drawing fifth punch tip to die before clearance sixth hollow penetration of the punches seventh die height regularity eighth die outer diameter consistency and ninth die hole go no go examination this one is more technical question which factors affect on the weight variation during compression process first very important factor is filling powder the filling powder is the most direct factor to influence the tablet weight if the powder is too hard moist too rough or too fine the tablet weight will also vary other factors are machine parts are aging and wearing inappropriate installment of feeder mismatching between upper and lower punch and defective punch tooling what is use of dust cups in tablet compression machine the purpose of dust cups is to provide secondary barrier to the upper punch seals it prevent oil and other debris from contaminating granulation it ensures production runs smoothly and reduce required cleaning time dust cups are made up of fruit grade material this one is also important question what is difference between upper punch and lower punch A set of tooling consists of upper punch, lower punch, and the die. The upper punch has a shorter stem. The lower punch stem is longer because it travels longer distance up and down in the die for filling, compression, and ejection, thereby sealing the die hole from the below during the entire process of compression. What are the primary components of upper cam section and lower cam section? The primary components of upper cam section are upper punch removal or dwell cam upper punch lowering cam upper pre compression and main compression rollers and upper punch pull up cam whereas in case of lower cam section important components are fill cam weight regulation cam pre compression and compression rail and ejection rail what is use of metal detector in tablet compression process and how challenge test is done for metal detector A metal detector is used to detect or remove the metal pieces on tablets after their compression. Challenge test for metal detector is mainly done before the start of the operation and followed by the every 2 hours while passing one by one three metal chips SS, FE and non-FE. The challenge test is considered as passed if all test metals detected by the metal detector and got rejected. What is use of deduster? Deduster is used to deduce the compressed tablet that is remove extra granules or powders on the external surface of the tablet. Deduster is placed below the shoot to separate the powder from the tablets by passing the tablets from bottom to outside through a spiral helix. Which oil is used for lubrication of compression machine? In pharmaceutical industry, food grade oil is used for lubrication of compression machine. These food grade oils shall be certified by ISO 21469 certification. Polyalpha olefin is commonly used due to its high viscosity and ability to withstand higher temperature. This one is last and very important question when we should do in process testing during compression process. Before start of machine all initial in process check shall be done after breakdown during machine run all in process check shall be done after stoppage of machine for longer duration in process check shall be done and during ongoing compression run in process test frequency shall be maintained as per the instructions given in the bmr keep watching farmgo subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry